Welcome everyone to the 11th episode of World of Warcraft Treasure Trove, a series where I will show you collectibles such as transmogs, pets and other collectibles for your collection, or for gold farming. In today's episode, we will take a look at the element 4 of Warcraft pets, sort of. We will discuss 4 elemental pets that I have not seen being discussed a lot. Yeah, there are a few videos about them, but they are outdated and I have found some mobs from different spots that might save you a lot of time. Without any further ado, let's get right to it. So the pets we will discuss today are Blazing, Dust, Gale and Tide Spirit. These can drop from Dossal Souls depending on which spirit you want to get. For Blazing Spirit it is Dossal Fiery Soul, for Dust Spirit it is Dossal Earthen Soul, for Tide Spirit it is docile frosty soul and for gale spirit it is docile airy soul. You might be wondering, what the hell are these items and how do I get them? Well, I am glad you asked, since I am here to tell you how. The first thing you need is an item called Zap Throttle Soul Inhaler, which you can buy from the auction house or if you are an engineer, you can craft it yourself. The item is usable by everyone, not just by engineers. Once you have your inhaler, don't leave the auction house yet, since you need one more item. The item in question is called Empty Soul Cage, which if you are a jewel crafter, you can craft yourself. I recommend buying more of these soul cages, since once you use your inhaler, it will consume the soul cage. Now that you have the items required, you need to get to one of four spots on the Dragon Isles. If you want to farm the Dusty Spirit, you go to this spot in the Waking Shores, here on the map. If you want to farm the Blaze Spirit, go to this spot in the Azure Span, here on the map. If you want to farm the Gale Spirit, you go to this spot in the Onaran Plains, here on the map. And if you want to farm the Frosty Soul, you go to this spot in the Azure Span, here on the map. Once you are in one of these spots, use the Zap Throttle Inhaler on the Elite Elementals. Now this is where the other videos show you how to do it wrong. Well, not really wrong, but a bit risky. The item seems to have been updated and will now give the elemental a 30 second debuff after you use the Zap Throttle Inhaler on him. This debuff basically stores the soul and gives you a timer to kill the elemental to get it, which is pretty easy as of patch 10.2.6. However, I need to warn you about something. If you get stunned while channeling the inhaler, the mob will not get the debuff. The most dangerous mobs you have to look out for are the Earth, Water and Air Elementals. The Earth Elemental will cast an interruptible spell which will stun you. I would recommend you to either interrupt it or wait for him to cast it, since once you get interrupted, you will have to wait another 45 seconds to use the inhaler again. The Water Elemental is the worst one in my opinion, since it can interrupt you in three different ways. It can cast the Torrent spell, which will summon a torrent that will follow you and stun you on impact. It will cast a Bash ability, which will knock you away and interrupt you. And it will cast a Shield channeling ability, which will just block the inhaler. My strategy for this is to wait for the elemental to start channeling the Bulwark, then to go behind him and use the inhaler. The Air Elemental will do an ability similar to the Water One's Bash, so you just have to wait it out and cast the Inhaler. He will also cast an ability, a huge circle, which you just get out of. The Fire Elemental will do this circle on the ground, which will interrupt you, but you can also move while channeling the Inhaler, so you just move away from it. And that's how you obtain the Docil Souls. But wait, there's more! It is worth mentioning that uh, there are other elite elementals you can farm the souls from. For example, this one earth elemental among the fire elementals. 
or this enraged air elemental among the water elementals. Another quite important thing is that you can use the inhaler on the elementals during the primal storms event, which rotates once every 3 hours and is up for 2 hours. For example, here I am using the inhaler while in tear hold on fire elementals, which usually aren't there. Also, there are these guardians, which are also considered earth elementals, so you can use it on them too. I also prepared a short video of me opening these docile souls, so you can decide whether it's worth farming or not. According to Wowhead, the drop chance is around 2%. This last part of the video is showing me opening 61 docile souls, but even before these I opened approximately 10 of each, so in total I opened around 100 docile souls. It took me a while to get these, but I just used the item on cooldown and waited for the soul to become docile. As you can see, out of 100 docile souls, I got 3 pets. There are two possibilities, either I was lucky, or the drop chance is a bit higher than Wowhead says. Also, as an engineer, you can actually use Fiery, Airy, Frosty and Earthen Souls to craft two toys, the Centralized Precipitation Emitter and Environmental Emulator. Since I got 25 of each soul, I could craft 8 of each toy. Here are the crafting requirements for the toys. And in case you are wondering, this is how much the pets and the toys go for on my realm, EU Silvermoon, which is one of the more populated realms. Quite expensive, aren't they? From my opening, I just made around 150k gold from the pets and another 120k gold from the toys, if they sell for their current auction house prices. However, I should also mention that I also bought some crafting reagents from the auction house for the toys, which cost me around 10k total. Well, that's it for today's video. Quite an interesting one, wasn't it? Thanks for watching the video. Like it if you liked it. There is also a subscribe button you could always try to hit as well. Enjoy your new pets and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and as they say, next time for sure.